Hello guys, and welcome to a new herping vlog. This time, we head out to an unexplored tropical island and find some incredible venomous snakes. Make sure you stick around until the end to see the best of all. And I just found the most giant sea crate you will ever Hello, welcome, what's up? Welcome to a new video. And this is gonna be an interesting one because we're doing something a little bit different. Of course, it's gonna be a herping vlog, but we're heading out to an island off the coast of the province, but not just any island, an island which has no snake records at all. It's essentially an unexplored island in terms of herping, and we're gonna go out there and see what snakes we can find. Okay, we're leaving behind our vehicle and we are on a new vehicle. This is my first time riding in a motorcycle sidecar. What are you thinking? What the boss? <laughs> All right, so we're just approaching the cove where we're staying right now. Take a look. We're in this like really isolated forested cove in the island. I mean, just look at that. The island is covered in what looks like really nice forest. The sea is relatively peaceful and I am so excited to get started here. We're gonna hop off the boat, have dinner and then start getting out into the field. Let's go. Waiting for our food at the restaurant. We've just gone rogue. We left cars behind. We have just gone so rogue. <laughs> and we're just going to check out these rocks on the beach because food is taking too long. And I got to look, man. We got one night here. Oh my God, Keith. How many seconds after we Literally stopped filming that clip? 10 seconds top. 10 seconds maximum. We filmed it right there. We stepped here and look at that. <laughs> There's a banded sea crate or yellow lip what? sea crate in that crevice, bro. <laughs> I need my miniature hook, but I guess some kind of stick will do the job. Okay, guys, I just got it unhooked. It took a minute to get it out of that crevice, but look at this. Oh my God, let's go. I don't know how to recount these events. So we were waiting ages at the restaurant to get our food. And I was complaining. So Cass was like, go, go look for some snakes. Go look for some snakes. So me and Keith, as you saw, we went rogue. And we just <laughs> balled off a solid five meters from the restaurant. I didn't want to go down, in, down here because I had my stupid boss flip-flops on. And I just look in that crevice and I see that iconic banded pattern of... Laticauda colubrina, the yellow-lipped sea crate. What an incredible encounter, my word. You may be thinking, what the boss? Why are you free handling this? Well, I gotta be honest, this species I don't really count as being venomous. Yes, it is venomous, highly venomous in fact. It is an alapid, but this species, I don't think it's ever been known to bite someone. They give this species to tourists to hold at beaches in Bali and some herpetologists in Thailand do shows at malls and aquariums where they let kids drape these around their neck. They're really like one of those species you can hold without any concern. And don't worry, this isn't gonna become a free handling channel anytime soon. But just for this one occasion, take a look at this stunning animal. And you're probably wondering why it's so small. Yeah, this is a, a, a sub-adult, I'd say at this size. Um, not quite a juvenile, juveniles I'd say are smaller, but look at that cool head. If you look at their ventrals, they actually have ventral scales, unlike other sea snakes, because these aren't actually a sea snake. They're not a true sea snake, sea snake at all, which is why we just found it on land, because these have to come to land every single day on multiple occasions usually. They come to land to drink, they come to land to rest, which is probably where we found this one, and they come to land to breed and nest. The males do this really interesting thing when they come to shore in the early evening and wait for the high tide when the females come in and then they try and mate with them. And it's not uncommon to find multiple in one place. But while it's not uncommon to find multiple in one place, it is uncommon to find these. There is almost no known spots in Thailand where you can find these on shore. So this is an incredible encounter. And I have the feeling if we found this one here, we might find some more. But guys, my food I think is getting brought to the table as we speak uh, just over there in the restaurant. So let's go eat and then let's get straight back out afterwards and see if we can find some more. Amazing.
All right, so just finished dinner. Oh, Keith just emerged from the darkness in the background. And uh, we're gonna head back out again, go straight back to the rocks and see if we can find another one, see if there's actually like a viable population here or something. Uh, where's Keith? He's back there. But yeah, incredible start. Let's go, let's see if we can find some more. Guys, just went back. I'm not even kidding. Instantly after finishing dinner, as soon as we finished, to the same square, like four meters to where we found the other one. Except this time I was risking getting very wet, wet in the water. And just in this crack here, look, adult Latin powder. Oh, and you've got to come up a bit higher. I just got soaked to my foot again. So I wouldn't describe this. I hope you can hear me over the waves, by the way. This has been a really loud video so far. I'm sorry about that, but look guys, adult Latin powder. So this one's about, maybe double the size of the one we found earlier. Definitely around a meter in length, this one. And yeah, kind of similar all round. I did a scale count on the other one before we released it. It's definitely Latacauda colubrina here and not Latacauda Latacauda, the rare one. But I'm just in disbelief. I don't know what to say, except the tide is coming in. And that's probably why we're seeing these on the rocks because I think they come in when the tide is coming in. But yeah, obviously you can see I'm handling it like it's a sunbeam snake right now because essentially these are the sunbeam snake of the sea. These will not bite. They are gentle as anything and truly incredible snakes. Awesome banded pattern and how blue do they come up on the camera? I hope it shows the blue. Can you see that guys? We have arrived on an island with no snake records and we're turning up Latacauda left, right, and center. Venomous sea snakes all over the island. Now that's a title I can work with, something like that. Here, here's something I completely forgot to talk about. I'm on some precarious rocks. With the other one, because look at the tail. It has this incredible paddle-like tail, which I think is fascinating. It's the only snake I've ever caught in person which has a paddle-like tail. I've never found any of the other sea snakes, the true sea snakes, which also have a paddle tail. But as we stated, this isn't a true sea snake. But yeah, this guy, these guys evolved to go into the water and hunt eels in the rock crevices and fish and all kinds of things. Truly an incredible snake. What an experience it's been. All right, guys, I'm getting soaking wet. So I'm just going to put it back in the crevice where I found it. It was just cruising along here. I uh, kind of panicked and didn't, I should have filmed when I found it, but it was exactly like this, with the tide coming in and making my feet wet. But uh, let me hop back up onto the main bit. That's where we found the one earlier, right there. So absolutely crazy how dense they were. We found our target species within five square meters. But right now we're gonna abandon the beach since we, we've uh, acquired our objective. And we're gonna head into the forest and see if we can find something else see what else is knocking around this island rogue into the forest let's go so it took us a minute to find the trail where we were trying to go to we just got to the trail if you look here you can see the sign that points to the trail and look what's on the trail right in front of us 100 percent in situ it's a freaking chunky mangrove pit viper trimurosurus purpurea maculatus now these are featured in my videos before but always in mangrove habitats. Whereas it's quite known amongst herpers that on these rocky islands off the co west coast of Thailand, you can find mangrove pit vipers just in the forest, completely away from mangroves themselves, which is a pretty cool phenomenon if you ask me. And this is certainly a nice way to find one with it just chilling in the middle of the trail as opposed to being on a tree or something. I was quite surprised when I looked down and saw this pretty beefy adult individual at my feet. So, so far we got two sea crates and a mangrove pit viper. So a very venomous start to our time on this island. And I'm just gonna pick this one up so you can zoom out a bit. <laughs> After a bit of freaking out, we managed to get it to calm down a lot. And now it's just chilling in this really nice place. And you can get a good look at its head there. You see it's got a bit of yellow on the side of the head. Quite typical of the species to have yellow on it, but this one, very muddy, uh, so nowhere near as striking as it possibly could be and not a very pretty individual anyway. But really cool to see one of these on this island. Any snake was welcome here because you can go to these new places and you really can see zero snakes, even if you're in as confident in your ability as I am. But yeah, very welcome uh, land snake found tonight. 
and seeing them in this island habitat is awesome. Definitely cooler than finding them in the mangroves, just chilling in the forest like a normal crotalid. But I'm getting eaten alive by like sand flies or something. And uh, it's so hot here tonight. So we're gonna get this one moving. Okay, so I just caught this nice little gliding gecko, which has some interesting white markings on the back. I don't know whether they're damage or some kind of speckling, but the gecko has caught Keith and it won't let go. <laughs> stop, stop it. It's, I'm not even pulling it, man. It's no. the gecko, I swear. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, 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 oh. That's the pinchy oh. bit. Oh. But yeah, this is gecko, or it used to be Ptychozoon kuli. Which is nice to see on this little island. So uh, not the kind of thing you expect to see. And uh, a lot of people who come to Thailand are very excited by these. And you don't see them super often. Some parts of Thailand, you can find them on national park buildings a lot. But they're certainly one of the cooler geckos we get out here. And I underrate them massively due to how often I see them. All right, the tempo of this video is kind of slow. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I've already caught this off in the last one. Are you sure you don't want to try it? All right, all right, okay, fine, fine. Where, 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 There's where? on like the hand somewhere. Like the side of the hand, somewhere like tough. Somewhere. No. Right finger. Ah, uh, uh, this fucking shot. Right, go, go. <laughs> We just got back to where we found the mangrove pit and no snakes other than that one so far on the island. So a bit of a slow night. I mean, that's to be expected in these new areas, uh, but it's not the end. We still got some time to search around. Hopefully I'd be happy if we turned up one more thing tonight. Okay. So on the way back, we have to walk along this rocky thing on the coast. And I just found the most giant sea crate you will ever see. Look at this. Oh my God. That is a beast. It's not surprising to see one out here on the rocks at high tide. We're having to like skip over the waves and get wet. But man, look at that. That is Inc a monster. So thick in the middle. And look how reduced the bands on it are. Like, I didn't realize that these lost their bands with age, but this one's got such reduced banding, it's ridiculous. Okay, Keith, that take, take over with my answer. phone, please. And use your light. I'm gonna catch it. Take a look. Are you okay? Are you able to? Yep. Take a look at the size of this. Look at that. Let's get a, let's get a, like a measurement up to me. That's like almost my height. This is like a 1.6, 1.7 meter sea crate which absolutely dwarfs the ones we saw earlier it makes that adult individual i saw earlier look absolutely minuscule i mean look at the size of this thing bro <laughs> like when you put it up like like this look at where its tail is and if it was stretched out its, its head would be at my feet look that is a solid 1.6 maybe up to Probably if its muscles were relaxed and it wasn't tensing, that's a goddamn 1.7 meter sea crate just cruising on the beach here. Absolutely insane, guys. So take a look at this, guys. Here around the mid body, it's got this huge bite mark. So there's a mark here, a mark here, and parallel ones on the other side. I don't know what could have taken a bite out of it, but whatever it is, is huge. But uh, I picked a couple ticks off it off camera just then, but, um, I mean, something like this, you know, they come to land, they got predators on land, they're in the sea, of course there's predators in the sea. I wouldn't be surprised if this was some kind of fish, but one this size has lived through a lot. And if it survived that, it can certainly survive a lot more. And I think it certainly survived us handling it. And I'm gonna let this gentle giant resume its incredibly peaceful and interesting life as a sea crate here off the coast of Thailand. All right, guys, it's just me this morning. Sorry about the abrupt cut last night. My phone died right as we were finishing filming with that sea crate. But uh, 
yeah, this will wrap up the video. We're just gonna do some casual snorkeling and maybe some canoeing around the island and stuff like that today. So if there's anything crazy happens with snakes, I'll, I'll put it on the channel. But otherwise, this will be the end of the video. A really fun one, one of the best videos I've done for a while. Incredible to come out here to an unexplored island and find things like this. What an experience. I feel so lucky to be able to do this. And uh, thank you for the support on the channel recently. It's been great, but I'll catch you soon. Peace. Yeah.